Hey, what is up you guys? It's James from James Jeff Dallas, and today's ball python video. Uh, first, I just want to clear up some things. I had a couple people message me and leave comments and stuff like that asking why I don't work with recessives. Now, this girl, Spider Mojave, right, double co-dominant, um, she, I, I only have three ball pythons and she's, the other two are locked up so I have to hold this one if I want to hold one. She's kind of bitey. She hasn't actually bit me yet, but she's definitely stricken at me a bunch of times. Um, she's got her own kind of stuff going on. Um, when I got her from her previous owner, she does have a little bit of scale rot here and there. Um, I'm going to see if I can do something about that, try to help her out. Um, but in the meantime, very beautiful snake and not any recessive genes in it. So, like I said, I had a lot of people, not concerned, but you know, they were saying, hey, if you want to make a million dollars breeding ball pythons, you're not going to do that working with just codominance. If you sent me a message and you're one of those people, you didn't watch my video, all the way at least. Um, if you did, you'd know that I talked about getting some eventually. Um, I had one guy who was like, you're not going to, you're just going to breed snakes for a couple years and get out of it and you're not going to make any money and uh, all this other stuff and all the real monies and recesses, guess what? I'm going to get some next year at the latest. So if you're one of those people, calm down, watch my whole video so you can hear what I got to say, and then hold your comments to yourself because I don't care. Um, I got co-dominance because that what was that's what was available as adults in the market locally to me. You know, if I was making a video about how much money I could spend on snakes, I would have bought quad visual recessives with codominance, with super forms and all this, but I'm not. I'm making a video about how to make a million dollars on ball pythons with very little money. So, this girl, hopefully, kind of seems like she's building follicles. She's not wrapping her dish yet, she is wrapping her hide. I've had about three or four locks with this girl, and I had about three with the other female. They're locked up currently. Um, everything that comes out of any of these clutches is going to be fire. Uh, of course, half will be spider, half will be Mojave, half will be pinstripe, and half will be pastel. So I have a lot of good odds to make, you know, two or three, even possibly four gene animals here. Um, even five, if, if, you know, there's possible, I could get five, but minimum at least one most likely two or three um and that really will just help me jumpstart. so next year i can buy a pair of visual pieds or a male pied something and a female pied or you know something along those lines i almost almost bought some het pieds uh just the other day i had a friend who had a male and two females a male visual and two female het pieds um both about a year old they could breed next year the way he feeds them um and he was looking he originally said 350 he's an older guy he's very forgetful he originally said 350 and i was thinking man i could buy that male sell it for three or 350 and pretty much get those two females for free and i was just about to pull the trigger and he changed his mind about the price um now he did tell me he said hey i you i did tell you the other price i forgot about that um and he did offer it to me at that price but i just didn't want that money held up because right now you know if you've seen the expense report we are like 900 dollars into the ball python uh game and to drop another 350 and to not know when i'm going to sell that isn't something i can swing for these guys you know you have to think you got to think about this as if it's someone with just a couple ball pythons and nothing else going on. Oh, dude, I can feel... Is that the? Is that, is that what follicles feel like? Dude, I can feel them. If that's... <laughs> um, with two-thirds down her body, there's a bunch of lumps in there. That's got to be follicles if i ever seen them. I have a hard time telling on the crested geckos. A lot of people can just tell when they're gravid. I have a really hard time telling. I can't tell if there's eggs in there, I can't tell, but that, that's definitely eggs. That's getting me really excited for this season. Um, but, like I said, I did not get those female het pies. Um, I think if I do get any, uh, 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 what am I trying to say, if I don't get any recessive genes, I will get double, uh, a pair of visuals, is what I'm trying to say. 
and that way I can produce all visuals the first year. That way, you know, if, if, if I got a pair of hats or a hat and a visual, you know, they're only having a couple eggs. They're ball pythons. They're only going to have, you know, four to ten eggs, especially the first year. You know, they're really only going to have like four eggs. Um, and, you know, to say my odds are one in four of hitting a visual and then I have to keep the visual just to be able to make more money the next year, I'm not going to be able to sell the heads for anything. So, really, I'll probably end up getting pied the first year, uh, just because I love pied, and I might as well start off with something really cool. Um, who knows, I might even get a pair of something else too, um, or I may end up purchasing another adult female. Um, who's to say? Um, but, these are just some things I really wanted to address with you guys. I, a lot of people were concerned. You obviously weren't watching my video, or maybe I didn't make it clear enough, but I do plan on working with recessives. I'm not an idiot. I breed leopard geckos. I breed crested geckos. This is my first time breeding corn snakes this year. I'm not new here, okay, people? I know kind of at least a little bit what I'm doing, and that's why I think I'm qualified enough to sit in front of you and talk about ways to make money breeding animals um, and not sound like a complete idiot. So, there's really not a whole lot going on this week. None of the snakes are eating because they're all breeding. Um, actually, well, sheep eats, but the other two aren't eating, so I didn't really update the expense report. Nothing new really happened. Um, but I can definitely feel follicles, follicles, follicles in her, and I... She's only like 1,300 grams. This will be her first year. I don't want to say I can see it, but... At a certain angle, I can see her body just get really thick, and it's right where the lumps start. So, be, take that with a grain of salt. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it would be my guess to say that she's starting to get gravid. Um, so, yeah, with that exciting news, that's just going to be it for this week's Ball Python video. Really not a lot going on. Like I said, we are going to have a lot of weeks like that, especially when we're first starting and we only have a couple of snakes. Give it six months. Uh, you know, if I have babies, you'll see that uh, a lot. Um, and then I'll start buying more snakes and we'll see a lot more of the ball pythons. Videos can be longer, more animals to go over, stuff like that. Uh, but anyway, hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that definitely helps out the channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.